Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and today finally we've got the beam shot only video off the uh, Astrolux FT-03 with the Luminous SFT-40 um, that I reflowed onto the 26mm MC PCB myself so I've done something special for this, I brought some um, cones so we can all get high, no just kidding so I brought some cones so uh, we can see the distances a little bit easier because some of the times uh, on the video, you know, the cameras, I'm not using a proper camera. I'm only using my phone. So, you know, I thought that might kind of help if you can see something, some reflections in the background. So we got the uh, Astrolux FT-03 on its highest ramping mode, which gives it about five to six um, amps all up. And so, yeah, so you can see the first cone that you can't even see because it's too bright. That's 50 meters. The second one is 100 meters then 150, then 200, and those trees behind there, uh, anyone's guess, probably 250 meters. Um, I'm pretty sure the last cone is further than 200 meters because walking, the GPS wasn't all that great, but you can see it lights this place up like nothing, and that's without it being on turbo mode. So I just wasted a minute off your time talking, yabbering. So we'll switch it to turbo, and there we have it, that's turbo mode there. So you can see, even brighter, it does um, input, does output a lot more on turbo mode probably about a thousand lumens more so you can see the last cone very easy at 200 meters you can even see past there I don't know how well you guys can see that I am shooting this at 4k but I can see that um, the bush the walls and the bush at the back there it's probably if that's 200 meters that's at least another 200 meters away so 400 meters so we'll go back over here we'll have a little look around so that last cone at least 200 meters away and you can see it lots up like no tomorrow everything in between here up to 200 meters you can probably even see the car just if I go over here a little bit more you can see the car in the darkness is lit up bloody awesome this SFT and um, FT-03 two together make an awesome awesome light I've got to walk back down and pick up the cones I almost stacked it over that ditch there because I didn't have a light on next time I bring a headlamp because I couldn't carry all these lights and um, the um, bloody the bloody these things at the same time okay guys so to compare it to a few lights I don't have that many lights because lockdown um, so I can't actually get home to grab that many lights um, I'm not in Sydney and Sydney is on lockdown um, this is just a convoy L2 that's using the KWC SLP M1 TG so not the smallest of the small uh, Osrams this is like the one mil by two mil um, it's also using a um, convoy driver that a ramping driver that goes up to eight amps so you can see it does put out quite a lot of light it doesn't light up quite as good as the um, FT-03 it does throw pretty far I don't think it throws quite as far as the um, Osram but it does look pretty cool um, at home I've got a uh, one of the new L21B waiting for me so I'd love to go home and grab that but I can't right now so we'll turn on the um, FT-03 Whoa. Double click that. So that's the FT-03 here to the left and to the right is the Osram. So if we go to the far distance, as you can see far away, the um, Osram lights it up much easier. So that's to the that's to the uh, 200 meters there. And I think the Osram kills it in output and in throw because you can see those bushes behind it much easier than you can with the um, L2. We'll just switch on the L2. So yeah, you can see definitely not quite as bright, and the throw is probably a little bit less, but not a ton less, maybe less than 100 kcd or less. I think this thing gets like 340, maybe a little bit over that, 350 kcd I believe, could be wrong. Um, so yeah, side by side, both good, both great LEDs, quite an improvement over something like the Cree XBL HI, but the SFT40 does probably... I won't say it throws it size to size because it might not, but it definitely does put out a lot more light than the um, L2. That's 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 for sure. If we look at the beams here side by side, pretty cool, right? All right, we'll switch to probably one more light, and then that'll be that'll be it, I think. All right, guys, because of um, constraints or not being able to because of lockdown, um, we'll compare this to a C8 with the SFT40 in it. Um, obviously the FT-03 is going to out-throw that, like, no, like, no tomorrow, but we'll see. 
So this is how good the uh, C8 goes with the SFT40. You can see 200 meters, everything up to that 200 meters is like lit up really, really well. Not as much as the FT03, obviously, but not too bad. You know, even in the camera, it doesn't look anywhere near as bright as what you're seeing with your own eyes, but it does a pretty good job. Like the camera can still focus pretty well and stuff. So, wait, let me double click. All right, that's the FT03 there now on its uh, turbo mode so obviously much brighter so side by side you can see obviously a lot more throw in the FT03 but output wise they are actually pretty similar they do output quite the same um, in lumens wise um, I am using a BLF A6 driver in the um, in the C8 so that does help but not too bad, obviously. You can't really compare and throw. But, you know, size for size, the C8 still does really, really well. And it still outputs quite a lot of light. So there we go. I think it just stepped back down before. So side by side, you can see quite a lot of light between the both of them. You know, with both of them on. So that, once again, that's just a, that's just a C8 by itself. Does a pretty damn good job, actually. I'm going to have to come back out here, um, probably try and grab a few other lights and do a C8 shootout, I think. Okay, guys, I think that pretty much, I know it wasn't a lot of lights to compare it to, but we'll turn the C8 off, we'll turn on the um, FT-03. But, you know, so you can see side by side, it does do a really good job. Um, it does put out a lot of light and it does throw very far, you know, those far trees at the back there. 250 meters easy and you know you can see everything like daytime uh i hope you enjoyed the video uh as always like and subscribe uh feel free to share the video so i get a few more views or whatever leave a like leave a comment too i'll try and get i'll try and get back to you i don't always go on youtube after i post a video because these videos take quite a while i've just spent over an hour setting up here so by the time i edit it and stuff it does take quite a while but um i'll try and get back to everyone and uh spider's building a web right in front of me and as always, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to have to duck and roll.